Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. I can't keep up with all he's poured out. It is a huge outflowing from heaven from Jesus. And the yes receives it, and the no doesn't even know it exists. The yes is in the middle of it, even not knowing what's going on. Another has the rule. Another has the story. Another has the agenda. And you are taken with him by that yes to places that you didn't plan to go. Wonderful and terrible. And, but it's an adventure. And it creates the correct situation for you to become what did you say the other day, Joan? We're human becomings? We're not, in reality, human beings because we're not static. We don't stay still. We are ever becoming. And we're ever becoming what God has for us or we're ever... It's entropy. We're, ever, we're, we're pulled down. And I think the real crisis in most of our lives, if we were honest, get down to it, is we see things in the Word. We see we're seated in the heavenlies. We know we're in union with Christ but the entropy pulls us back to the earth and we get stuck down here instead of just being willing to just say, yes, I'm, 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 I am in the heavenlies. I, I will live from there. I will not. I've lived so, oh, all my life, earth to heaven, begging him to do what he's already, already given. He's already said he would do. But my unbelief keeps that that reality from being true in me simply because I uh, I refuse to align myself with his thoughts I go to refuse refusal is the big word God has spoken to me why it's it's not a oh I don't it's I refuse to align my thoughts with his which he says we are seated in the heavenlies our real life is to be lived heaven to earth not earth to heaven and the entropy I think for every believer is being pulled to the earth well, we're people talk about adventure. We're people with at war with the devil, and uh, we are in a struggle with ourselves, and who who will win? So we are. We, you're in the adventure, one way or another, because life is a mystery. It's it's temptation now to to take the mystery out, and you can't. You can't take the mystery out. Who, who are you? It's a mystery to you. It might be it's visible to others, but it likely isn't visible to you. That's the work of the body. The, bo the stones together support other stones and support. Uh, he said, the scripture says, encourage one another daily. And you do that for me. All of you do that for me and others outside of this. And that encouragement is critical but so see we're not in this alone even with even in the body of christ we're not alone because we are to function encouraging each other daily because the battle is severe this is in regard to many times um we spend our lives uh seeking and wanting god as we've been talking about the wanting seems to be the the church's one um, focus, uh, whether it's worship music and messages of wanting, getting people to come down an aisle who want him, who want Jesus, but not really able to follow through with what do I do now? And so there's that always uh, constant uh, recycling of the wanting. And so one of the things that uh, Murray, waiting on God, is speaking of, do not limit God in this by your thoughts of what may be expected. Do fix your eyes upon this one truth in his very nature. God, as the only giver of life, as mentioned before, cannot do otherwise than every moment work in his child. Do not look only at the one side, and this is what you know, I've spent most of my life. If I wait continually, God will work continually. Okay, my side. Now look at the other side. Place God first and say, God works continually. Every moment I may wait on him continually. Take time until the vision of your God, working continually without one moment's intermission, fills your being. Your waiting continually will then come of itself. 
full of trust and joy, the holy habit of the soul will be, on thee do I wait all the day. The Holy Spirit will keep you ever waiting. You know, I'm going to give away the final blow of this book on the bride. And it's this verse, Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there's none upon earth I desire except thee. That's where that's the bride. That's a bridal statement. And that's where he's going to take us. And it's going to be exciting, bewildering, overwhelming, mysterious, and for the most part, blind. Abraham went out not knowing where he was going, but it was a gorgeous place. We will, we will be Abrahams that say yes and go out, not knowing where we're going, or we'll lose the whole thing, all the beauty and glory, and the throne of Jesus Christ. Well, this, we came to this verse, and so I'll read it. 2 Timothy 1, seven from the Amplified. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, of cowardice, of craving and cringing and fawning of fear. Oh my goodness, is that familiar? But he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of calm and well-balanced mind and discipline and self-control. My word. This is what he has given to us. And when we say yes to this, we'll get it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. There's the adventure right there. Sometimes I will say, fascinating to know what the Lord thinks about this. It would be fascinating to know what he's going to do. One thing Martha said yesterday that I think is so significant about our yes is, she said, bowing is the posture of surrender and yes. And it is simple, but I, will, I would not say it's easy because it's a continuous yes, which means we fight against ourselves in that. There's only one person to fight when I have a no and it's me. I am the only fly in the ointment. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at shulamite.com where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from getalongwithgod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At Shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.